I'm going to show you how you can turn any normal appliance into a smart appliance for less than $15. You're going to be able to turn on an old lamp at sunset, turn on a fan or heater when the room gets to a certain temperature, or get a push notification when your washing machine is finished. All you need is one of these and some imagination. Hey home automation guy, start the show. This is a smart switch, and it can be connected to your home automation system by Wi-Fi, Z-Wave, or Zigbee, depending on the model that you buy. Do you remember those old school timer switches that used to turn things on and off based on the time of day? Well, smart switches are like those, but way more powerful. Most of these are compatible with Google Home, Amazon Echo, or other smart platforms, so you can turn them on and off using your voice, or use them in routines. They come in a variety of flavors. Individual plugs like this one, or a strip of smart plugs bound together like a power board. This one cost me £11, or about $15, but it also has the ability to measure the amount of power that the device plugged into it is using, which is going to become important later in the video. They're really easy to set up. Just plug it into a socket, follow the instructions to connect it to an app, and then plug your appliance into the other side. Once you have it set up in the app, you can use that to turn on or off the appliance, or you can connect it to Google Home or Amazon Echo to use it in routines. You could plug a lamp into the smart switch and have it turn on at a certain time of day, just like the old timer switches. Or, because it's smart, you can have it turn on automatically at sunset, whatever time of the day that might be. I personally use my smart switches with Home Assistant and use automations to trigger them based on whenever certain conditions are met. Here you can see my automation that turns on the bedroom fan when the temperature in that room goes above 25 degrees. You can easily adapt this automation to turn on a space heater when the temperature drops below a certain threshold. I've also set a condition here to make sure this only happens if somebody's home, because I don't want my appliances turning on if nobody's around. That's bad for the environment and could result in your house catching fire. That's also bad. Speaking of burning down houses, you need to make sure that the appliance that you plug in is rated below the maximum amount that the switch can support. Otherwise... Some other suggestions for getting the most out of smart plugs are turning on lights and diffusers on a timer, and then automatically turning them off again when you leave the house, controlling fish tank or grow lights, turning on humidifiers when the room gets too dry. You can use any number of smart sensors which measure temperature and humidity to do this. Boiling the kettle as part of your morning routine. In December, I use a smart switch to turn on my Christmas tree lights automatically when it gets dark. You can even connect your hair straighteners or an iron to a smart plug as well. The next time you leave the house and wonder, did I leave the iron on? You can just whip out your phone and check whether or not it's switched on. But the options get even better if you use a smart switch with built-in energy monitoring. These will measure how much power the appliance that's plugged into the switch is using at any given time. Not only is this information useful to let you know what's contributing to your power bill, but it can also be used to send smart alerts to your mobile phone when an appliance is finished doing whatever it does. I used to have a habit of putting the washing machine on and forgetting that I'd done that. I'd then come back the next day, pull out the clothes, and they'd smell like a wet dog. I now have a smart plug connected to my washing machine, which sees how much electricity is being used. Different parts of the washing cycle use different amounts of power, and so I can use this to infer what the washing machine is doing at that time and when it's finished running. I have my smart plugs connected to Home Assistant, and here I can see the different amounts of power that are happening over the period of a wash cycle. I want to be able to tell when my washing machine is running, finished, or switched off. For this, I've used an input select entity in Home Assistant to keep track of the status of the washing machine. To create one of these, go to the general configuration area, click helpers, and add a new drop-down helper. I'm calling this one washing machine status, and I'm setting three possible states. Off, running, which is when it's washing, idle, which is gonna get set once it's finished washing and hasn't been switched off yet. I then created three automations that set the state based on the amount of energy that's being consumed by the washing machine at that time. Here's my first automation, and it's triggered when the washing machine smart plug power consumption goes above one watt. You may need to set a different value for your specific appliance, but you should be able to figure this out by looking at the energy consumption while it's running. I have a condition set so that it only switches to running if the washing machine was previously off. The washing machine fluctuates in power usage depending on the cycle that you're running. If you pick a washing cycle where the clothes soak for a period in the middle, then the power consumption will drop, and the automation may incorrectly set the washing machine state to off, even though it's not finished. The automation then sets the washing machine state to running, and sends me a push notification via the Home Assistant app, telling me that the washing's on. I have two other automations which are very similar, which set the status to off and idle. In this one, 
If the power usage is between 0 and 1 watts, and the washing machine was previously running, it's going to set the state to idle and send me a message telling me that the washing is finished. And finally, when I empty the washing machine and switch it off, the power usage goes below 0.1 watts. The automation then checks if the washing machine was previously idle and sets the state to off, letting me know via another message. I have similar automations like this set up for my clothes dryer and dishwasher as well. Smart plugs with energy monitoring also integrate really nicely into Home Assistant's new energy management functionality. And you can then use this to see which of your devices are using the most electricity over a day, week, or longer period. I'll be doing a whole video dedicated to Home Assistant energy management in the future. So if you wanna see that, click the subscribe button. If you thought this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And now go and watch this other video I did about smart light automations. Together, we'll make your home smarter.